So my report on Lake Champlain was going to start like this. Okay, this is what happened. We went to Burlington and we threw an anchor. There was like no wind at all. Then we started dinging around and we met some friends from the Great Loop. People, we didn't know them and we just dinged around, met them and said, hey, hey we're going to go for a couple of drinks. So we go for a few beers. So that night, too many beers, probably too many, too many beers. We went for two, I had too many beers. I don't know about anybody else. I had too many. Went back to the boat, and finally the wind had started to blow in the direction it was going to blow from the next day. And the next day was going to be, I don't know, like 13, 14 miles an hour, whatever. Uh, you know, we boat in the freaking ocean, whatever. You know, we can take it. So we threw a second anchor out that night when we got to the boat. Still almost dead calm. And then about 3, 4 in the morning, the boom hit. And it got windy. And it got windy, windy. It just, it's just like, oh, it's a little windy. It got super windy. It legitimately windy. The boat is bucking up and down out of control. We both get out of the bed. We try to go to the back of the boat, lay on the couch, and the thing's flopping around, just snapping back and forth. Super windy. The anchors are in super solid, so not a problem. But they're just like, I'm getting, I was definitely a little bit hung. I was hungover. And then the hangover changed to like seasickness. I started getting sick around, I don't know, maybe nine in the morning. Like, we got to get out of here. I can't live. You know, I can't survive right now. Couldn't get in the dinghy to go to shore. The boat was bounced up and down. The dinghy, I think, you know, you'd lose a leg maybe just trying to get in the dinghy. And even if we did get there, I don't even know how you might not even be able to get back. It was, the wind was just ripping. It was howling. Canvas is making all these weird noises and stuff like that. Oddly, you know, the guys that we went out drink with before, the night before, like, yeah, I heard it was going to be really windy tomorrow. Like, yeah, but we're like, yeah, whatever. It's, you know, it's a lake. So anyway, we, I go up in the front. I'm feeling like crap at this point. Nah, the seasickness is set in. I do not feel well. Get to the front of the boat. It took about a half hour to get to the anchors. So we get the anchor up. I'm feeling nauseous. I put the anchor in the deck. I go over a yak. As soon as the boat, the anchor's up, the boat's going like, you know, just catches immediately. It's going towards, you know, the break wall and the other stuff. So it's okay, let's get out of here. It's a lake. There's obviously a cove, you know, like five minutes away. We just go into the cove, bang in there, throw an anchor and, you know, go back to sleep or something like that. So it turns out that there isn't anything like that. So we looked and unfortunately, Debbie was the only one who could really look at this stuff because I could not do anything other than just hold on for dear life at this point. I'm so sick and I'm like just staring at the horizon. We make the decision to go across the lake, kind of diagonally with the wind, uh, about 13 miles away to an island that's got these two little coves. It was, the, it was appeared to be the only thing we could do at the time. So we took off and I was sick and we're going to basically two hours of the boat rocking and rolling, the following sea, it was unbelievable. It was, Debbie's driving, I can't do anything to help her, I'm just sitting in the back on and off occasionally, dry heaving over the side of the boat, just holding on for dear life. Freezing death, because it's windy as a bastard. It's gray, boat's going up and down, dinghy's behind me, snapping back and forth, just absolutely miserable. Anyway, we got to a cove, you know, we survived, but I'll tell you, all you little boaters out there, it's when it's blowing 25 from the south on Lake Champlain with gusts in the 30s, that, that place gets every bit as gnarly as the friggin' Atlantic Ocean. And that's, uh, 
I'm humbled. And this is all stupidity because it comes from complete, you know, northeast saltwater boating hubris, complete cocky arrogance. Get out of my way, duckies.